Hi and welcome to another Toby TV video. Today's is on the topic of hibernation. This comes off the back of a road trip we went to yesterday at Heatherset in Norfolk. Um, it was for a hibernation event put on by the Norfolk Tortoise Club. You might have seen our Instagram post about it just after we left. It was quite an eventful journey actually. Just as we put Toby in his carry case, we realised he's actually grown quite a lot since the last time we went out and his case was probably a little bit too cosy. So we stopped off pets at home and got him a new bigger case and a bit of an upgrade. So this one should last quite a while assuming we don't break it. But um, yeah, I digress. I just wanted to make a quick video following on from that to say how awesome the event was. It was good to see so many other tortoises and chat with their owners, uh, just to see how all the people do things. I saw a few familiar faces I met at the open day uh, there a few months back. But yeah, it was a great event, picked up lots of seeds to plant and keep Toby going through autumn and winter. The main event was the talk and presentation from Eleanor uh, about hibernation, talking about the different methods, how long you should do it for, the do's, the don'ts, and yeah, that was really quite informative and insightful, so that was great. Um, we managed to get a quick health check for Toby, he seems to be doing quite well, got him weighed and measured so we can look him up on the Jackson's ratio and check his bone density to make sure he's okay to hibernate. Interestingly, one of the people doing the health check had a slight inkling that Toby might actually be a girl. Well, we won't know for a while, it could take a couple of years, but we'll let you know how that goes. We'll definitely probably just still keep the name Toby. But yeah, uh, Toby, he's 30 months old, so he's never been hibernated before because it was quite tiny last winter. But we went to the event with an open mind, and although we still haven't completely made up our decision yet on whether we'll hibernate Toby, we came home feeling a lot more assured and confident about possibly doing it. And if we do, we might look at doing it around January, February time. We'll give him a little wind down and maybe try a week or two. If that works and the following winter we might try a bit longer but uh, we'll definitely keep you updated on what we do with Toby at the moment he's wide awake and active all day don't forget you can check him out on the webcam all day that's at Toby TV but yeah I just wanted to say another quick thanks to all the people at the Norfolk Tortoise Club for putting on the event and for the volunteers that helped run it it's the second event we've been to um, up uh, there but yeah, it was brilliant again the only thing is we didn't join up as a member because it's quite a long round trip to Norfolk from London about 200 miles each time so we probably wouldn't be able to make all the monthly meeting things but we'll definitely come up if there's more big events at the weekends like these ones we've been to if you're a tortoise owner in and around the Norfolk area I'd say definitely join up they're great all the people we've spoken to have been really brilliant um, if not if you're not too close then definitely check out their website the link will be sort of below this video um, that's basically tortoiseclub.org by the way but yeah I'll also link to some of their great hibernation fact sheets too um, finally just want to say thanks for watching and if this has been useful to you let me know if you've got any other questions or queries we get quite a lot through especially on Toby's website and on Instagram but either leave a comment or a like if this is useful cool um, thanks for watching cheers <laughs>